Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, another reading for you. I'm drawn to this deck. So we're just going to go with it, basically, and see what we get for Aquarius. What's the special message? Ooh, left out in the cold, feeling alone. That's no good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, hold reading here. Okay, someone has made you feel alone in some way. And I'm not saying you even have to be with anyone because you don't. Um, this could be a connection. I'm getting that this could be a connection for some of you online or such where someone may be cold shouldering you or ign ignoring you or gaslighting you. Yeah, um, but for some of you, this is more, you know, someone left you. Uh, it's going to be different for different people. You know, you have to take it how it is for you. Um, they left you alone. They, they you know, they, they're not putting in effort. It's like um, they moved on. They moved away. You know, and often I don't see this this way, but I'm seeing it this way. It's, it's almost like they, you know, they kind of picked you up, got your hopes up, took you somewhere. Uh, you know, even if they didn't take you anywhere, per se, by talking got your, you know, hopes up and such. And now they just kind of went away on their own. Well, here's the thing. Okay, we got temperance here. And I am, for some reason, I'm seeing the judgment card. Um, there's some form of karma. This person's dealing with some karma. I feel like that you, you're balancing yourself. You're doing your thing, you know. You're standing strong. Even though, you know, you may feel a little abandoned and alone. Um, well, here they come. Well, they want to come. They want to come to you. They want to um, try to get back in your good graces and offer you something. Now, it's not emotion, but it's something. Now, here's the catch. Okay, here's the thing. This person is stuck. They got so many burdens. And I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like that they've either, they're either getting out of a relationship or just got out of a relationship. But they feel stuck for some reason. It's got to do with carrying a heavy load. Now, this is here. And I want to get some clarification on that. Please clarify that page of cups for me. Ooh, they wanted to turn it, but they didn't. Please clear. Please clear. Okay. This person wants to give you something. They want to give to you. They're actually burdened about this. Nine of chalices. They got a lot of emotion for you. So they do have emotion for you. Okay, what are they coming out of? What is this bondage they're coming out of? I know it's within their own mind. Wanting to speak. Queen of Cups. They got a lot of feelings that they have not moved on. Oh my goodness. They have not went forward on. They haven't moved on it. So they got a lot of feelings. They haven't moved on. They haven't um, moved forward about. Um, they feel like you're kind of standoffish and to yourself. So I think that's kind of got them at a hesitant spot. Yeah, about coming forward. They don't know whether to come forward or not. It's like you got lots of options. You're happy. They see you as kind of to yourself and they're carrying this load of burdens down here you know um, they're having a hard time why they're watching you wanting to give something why is that there I need to clarify that why is our ace of cups reversed why is this past or present oh okay they have not had good luck with love, and maybe you haven't either. They've been manifesting. They're mani trying to manifest what they want. Give me more. Yeah. 
See, um, okay. See, this is them. <laughs> the coming in is the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. And, um, okay, okay. For some, for some, that's for some. That's not for all. For some, they're coming in as those two people and they have a choice to make. They're at a standstill. Okay, yes. For others, bam. <laughs> You're the choice. In other words, um, they got a choice between you and someone else. So... You're coming in. They're seeing you as someone that's got yourself together, but at the same time, they're they're seeing someone else, looking at someone else. Wow. Why is the King of Cups here? Uh, uh, this person had a relationship with someone, and it did not work out. Um, it didn't work out, and I feel like that. Uh, what happened is I feel like, for one, I feel like this this King of Cups is coming up because I feel like, honestly, I feel like they're seeing you as the Emperor and this is the other person, the choice between two. Um, they dealt with someone who was very um, not caring, not caring. They were in a relationship with them. Someone who did not give a crap, we'll put it that way. And now they may be a little bit, you know, mm, yeah. They want to give something, though. They've got some feelings for you. Um, they're thinking about this. They're wanting to communicate. But at the same time, it's like you're an option, you know. And that, I don't feel like, is where you want to be. You don't want to be an option. You don't want to be someone's, someone's option. You know what I'm saying? Um, no. And I don't feel like you're going to like that either so it's it's like they need to make up their mind they need to choose and be done with it because you're not going to be their option um that's what i'm getting from it in the extended what i'm seeing that i need to look at is if you're dealing with a leo for sure um aries for sure, as well. Just let me see what's standing out to me. That's the way I do it here. What is standing out? Hmm. If it doesn't stand out, I don't go with it. I'm also thinking I'm going to look at Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio as well. Let's see, what else am I feeling there? And I'm not sure why, but I keep seeing the dead gum um, lover's card. So I'm going to look at Libra and I'm going to look at Gemini. Because I just keep seeing it. It's, it's like it's right in front of me and there's got to be a reason. You know, and I feel like I need to look at that. Um, I'm also going to look at Taurus and Sagittarius. A little bit different signs. Let's see here. So that's what I'm going to look at. In the extended, I'll look at Gemini, Libra, Leo, Sag. Aries, Taurus, and Scorpio. Um, this is, I mean, it, it really, you know, it's got a feel to it. Um, can I see any more? Okay. Hi, Priestess. You need to follow your intuition about this because, I, just to be honest, um, you know, we've got the Six of Cups here. This could be a soulmate connection. Not all soulmates are here to um, really, you know, just stay in our lives. Some are here to teach us lessons, and I am drawn to how it looks like the hand is putting poison into the cup. So, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. This could be a soulmate and, you know, lessons. Just saying. 
It very well could be. And if you've done learnt lessons, do you really want to have to learn more um, from them? Okay. So that's what I've got for you. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Please share out the readings and tell your friends and family. And uh, if you want me to do a reading for a different sign, please put it in the description box below because I hear lately, you know, I mainly am picking up on Aquarius and for the collective. And uh, usually when someone posts, well, they'd like for me to do a different sign, I usually get a reading for them. So, till next time. Oh, and the extended link will be below.